Hey, what do it, y'all? Switch and team, point y'all tunes. All y'all favorite rappers and celebrities alive before I need this little favor done for y'all. First, please like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. It's will that be great service to shine and push y'all tunes to this story. Now, today we are once again talking about Cosmos' alleged killer, this man going by the name of Blockstar. Now, this man is not being said to have been the man that committed the murder, but he did play an essential role in the robbery, along with a group of other men that had infiltrated Postmo's Airbnb and decided to commit robbery and take his jewelry. So recently, this man had done an interview on a platform known as No Jumper. The interviewer known as Adam 22 will end up interviewing the man known as Black Star. So during the interview, they ended up speaking about the incident that had transpired with Pop Smoke. This man during the interview had revealed that he feels no remorse for having done the job and robbed Pop Smoke. That audio will be provided for you guys to listen to shortly. I'm not sorry about nothing. No, it should never happen, but I ain't sorry. I mean, like if I could go back, I'll go back, but I ain't sorry. Like, mm -mm. die every day. Like, he was rapping about it. All type. So, I ain't, I ain't sorry about it, but, you know, I send my condolences to the family, and I wish it never happened. So as you guys can see, the thoughts of this man can be perceived as disturbing. This man is saying that he does not feel any remorse for the actions that he had committed, thus leading to him being incarcerated and put in jail for a very long time. Mind you, we have to take into account that this is the same individual that decided to cut his ankle monitor and throw it away in the parking lot. This man had allowed his friend to record him committing the entire act. This will foresee him being on a phone call with his probation officer worried about his safety because he is known as being the man that was involved with Cosmo's killing and robbery. Now I delve much deeper into this story in one of the previous videos. If you guys would like to see that, that will be available in the description. But given the general gist of what taking place, the man that was involved with Cosmo's robbery was not trying to hear what his probation officer was offering him. She was expressing that she wanted this man relocated, but he had decided to cut the phone call short. While this person was committing the act of discarding his ankle monitor, you could hear his friend in the background encouraging his actions. Now in terms of further news that has been put out about this person, it seems like this man has not received any additional charges, given that he did publicize some committing the act of discarding his ankle monitor. So with this man stating that he does not feel sorrow for his decisions that have led to his confinement, some could view it as questionable. However, he did make sure to say that if he could go back to the situation, then he would. He would then bring up the point that people die every day and would justify his actions staying at Postmo's music and body committing crimes such as the ones he took part in. So while this man did fail to express sorrow, he did say that he wished it never happened and send condolences to the ones he had affected, such as his family members. But what is interesting is how this man was explanatory of how he felt no sorrow about the actions that he had committed, saying that because the rapper's music had glorified violence that he ultimately felt no sorrow towards the situation. Now when it comes to the public's perception about why he had said he felt no sorrow, some had projected that it may be because he wants to promote a tough image and he doesn't want to look soft. Another would attribute his words to him feeling that his days are numbered and that he feels that his safety is at risk and that his life could be taken away at any moment. Now given that this man has decided to go by the social media handle known as Black Star, it seems that this man is trying to capitalize off of the image that he has projected to the world. He may be trying to promote a hood lifestyle in efforts to pursue a rap career in the future. But either way, hopefully in the future this individual's mindset grows and he comes to the realization that some of his recent actions are unjustifiable and lack rationality. But yeah, y'all, just go cap all this video. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. Did you guys see this individual discard of his ankle monitor on camera? And if so, do you guys think that him committing the act has served a reasonable purpose? Do you guys think this individual black star has intentions of pursuing a rap career given the image that he portrays on social media? And to cap that off, were you guys surprised to see at the platform no jumper had allowed black star to do an interview? Let all that be known in the comments, y'all. That's gonna do it. I'm out. Rage on that beat, going crazy.